Hi, in this tutorial, we will explore the annotation tool in Uthic. In Uthic, you can annotate PDF and Music XML scores. After opening a piece, press the middle of the screen to have the menu bar appear, then press the features on the top right. The first one on the list is annotate. There are three shortcuts available for you to enter annotation mode quicker. Number one, touch the screen with two fingers simultaneously. Number two, if you have an Apple Pencil, you just have to tap once on your screen with the Apple Pencil. And third, if you own a second generation Apple Pencil, you can quickly tap twice on the side of your pencil to get into annotation mode. For the last two options, be sure to pair the pencil to the iPad before. Annotations are much more effective and comfortable to draw if you own a digital pencil. There are many brands in the market and you should choose the one comfortable for you. We recommend Apple Pencil Generation 1, Apple Pencil Generation 2, and Logitech Rayon for iPads. The way to know you are in annotate mode is the appearance of this bar. By long pressing and dragging these three lines on the left or on the right, you can move the bar up or down to place it anywhere you want on the score. Use it if you need to annotate underneath the annotation bar. In annotation mode, while using landscape orientation or when zooming in, you can scroll around using two fingers. To turn pages while you are in annotation mode, use these arrows to flip to the previous or next page. You can turn your pages or scroll with the Bluetooth pedal as well. Then there's a the main function in annotation. When clicking one of them, an orange line would appear underneath, meaning now this pen is activated. So when annotating, it would be the one chosen. Another click on the activated pen would open its parameters. You can change the color by tapping on the desired one. Notice that by swiping you can see more colors and here below change the opacity and size. Changing the opacity is a quick and easy way to create a highlighter. The duplicate button would create another pen with identical parameters and the trash icon would delete this pen. Long press a pen and drag it left or right to reorder the pens to fit your custom needs. We can also create a new pen by clicking the plus button. We gathered for you a set of symbols in case you prefer them over manual handwriting. Slide to the side to discover them all. You can change their color and size. You can star a certain symbol to make it appear in your favorite. Inside the favorites, click reorder to reorder symbols and do so with a long press and dragging motion. You can always go back to see all symbols by pressing the All button. After you selected a symbol, tap the desired place on the screen to have it appear. Long press to have a zoom in magnifying glass function for a more precise placement and long press with a dragging motion to change the location. Tap the T to enter the text editor. You can change its size and color. Close the keyboard and tap on the text to drag it around. Use the squares on the side of the box to enlarge, stretch, or shorten your text box. Click within the text box to return to the text edit mode or click anywhere else to deselect it. Touching another place on the screen would open a new text box. You can press the trash icon to delete it. Note that some pedal models are recognized as a keyboard by the iPad or iPhone and then lock the direct access to the iPad virtual keyboard. Annotation layers are extremely useful for both individual and collaborative situations. On the same score, you will be able to create several layers that you can activate or unactivate whenever you want. When entering a new piece and annotating, the annotations would be saved in the default layer. So everything we annotated until now is under the default layer. To create a new layer, press Create Layer. Name your new layer and press OK. I'm going to rename the default layer into Personal Annotations by pressing Edit. The Boeing's layer is now selected. It means that the annotations we are about to make will be saved in this layer. 
we can know the Boeing's layer is selected by seeing it in bold text, the orange line on its left side, and the pen icon on its right. Coming back to the score, when annotating, it's going to be saved in the Boeing's layer. Notice that the personal annotations layer is displayed in gray. This is to help us notice what belongs to the layer we are on and what isn't. When pressing done, the personal annotation layer would get their original colors again. The gray is only a temporary display while being in annotation mode. Returning to annotate, we can't edit a layer that is not chosen. For example, now I'm in the Boeing's layer, and if I choose text to re-edit the text written in the personal annotations layer, I can't. I would have to choose the personal annotations layer to be able to do that. One of the most useful ways to use music's layers is being able to view or hide them by tapping on the eye icon. When the eye is gray with a cross on it, that layer is hidden, and when the eye icon is blue, it's visible. We can always delete a layer by pressing edit on the trash icon. The eraser is quite intuitive. Simply choose the eraser, and as soon as you touch an annotation, this one will entirely disappear. Use a white pen to delete a part of an annotation very accurately, and even erase a former annotation written on a scanned PDF sheet music. This feature also works with sepia effect as the white color dynamically adapts. You can choose the shape of your lasso, free shape or rectangular. The lasso enables you to select an annotation and take several actions. Drag it around, copy it, then by tapping elsewhere on the screen, you can get a paste button to paste the copied annotation. This can also be done between different pages and even different parts or pieces. There is the cut, the paste behaves the same way as the copy, and delete. Pay attention that both for eraser and lasso, in order to erase or select an item you need to be in the layer that it was written in. You can at any time delete all annotations on a current page or on all pages with the trash icon. This would affect only the activated layer. Music has the classic undo and redo buttons. Be aware though that it is not possible to undo a delete all action. In addition, notice that when pressing done, you lose the option to undo. Apart from the shortcuts we already mentioned, using the Apple Pencil, you can lay your hand on the screen and write at the same time with the pencil. Once you've used the Apple Pencil to annotate your sheet music, you cannot annotate with your hand anymore, unless you click done and then re-enter annotation mode again with your fingers. If you own a second generation Apple Pencil, you will have access to additional tools. In the general settings of your iPad, in the Apple Pencil section, you can choose up to three options. Switch between the current tool and the eraser. Switch between current and previous tool. Display the color palette. If you check this option, each time you will tap on the side of your pencil twice, you will get in or out of the annotation mode. Lastly, there is a timeout function which automatically leaves the annotation mode after annotating. This was designed to save you time and not needing to press done after every time you annotate. By default, this behavior is deactivated. To change this configuration, go to the Home tab. In Settings, go to General, and in the bottom you will be able to choose if you want a 3, 6, 10 second timeout or no timeout. Then press Done. Music XML Scores in Music has a smart zoom which allows you to flexibly change the size and layout by zooming in or out with two fingers. When you annotate a Music XML Score, it will automatically log the smart zoom that reorganizes your bars and transform your Music XML file into a PDF-like score. Therefore, we advise you to choose the right zoom level before beginning to annotate. 
If you wish to reactivate the Smart Zoom after writing your annotation, you will have to delete your annotations or duplicate your part from the Parts tab. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.